And what is going on, everybody? I'm Sigli Tozier here, and today we're playing some more Pixel Car Racer. It's gonna be an All Body Kids On episode, and it's gonna be an episode you didn't know you wanted, but you definitely needed. We're going into the Cadillac Fleetwood Braham. Now, see, this is a car you probably wouldn't pick up. You'd probably pick yourself up a 240, a BMW, a Camaro, who knows? But this thing, unless you're trying to build a lowrider, this thing just flies under the radar. So, you know, makes a pretty good sleeper. If you swap the, you don't even have to swap the engine. I think it comes with like 200 horsepower. Ooh, it comes with 325, which is more than a lot of engines in this game. It's more than the Spoon. It's more than the RB, the K20, the 1JZ. Oh no, just about the same as the 1JZ. Uh, the SR20, that's it. So, tossing some boost instantly with a twin turbo setup. I now I'm making a thousand horsepower, so makes a pretty good sleeper. Now, I'm gonna build this real quick, lower it, and put it on some wheels, and then we'll get into the body kits. Alright, now let's get into it. First off, the Pandem kit. Huh, looked a little different than when I previewed it. Oh, that doesn't even add much. Except for the front end, it still looks like a pretty decent sleeper. You wouldn't know the difference. Just take that off, put a stock front end, you wouldn't know. The, f the wide body really fits. Like, it just basically extends the body lines of the car, and I really like that. It's not too crazy, but also not subtle enough not to notice. Unless, you know. Like, like when you put it on, obviously someone else isn't going to notice because they don't know what you did to your car no. Ooh, that looks real cool. I'm not sure how I feel about the like the front itself, but it does look pretty cool. Ooh, oh, that looks killer. Paint this thing black, black it out, make it 3,000 horsepower. I think a kill, absolute killer machine. Gorgeous. Look at that. I love how that looks. I think it looks real nice. Hey, if you want to be extra, put that wide body kit on. Make it even meaner looking. That's insane. I love that. That looks real cool, even without the side. That's crazy looking. It's mean, real mean. What does that do? Ooh, it shortens the bumper and it adds a little bit of a lip. That's cool. I like how they kept the the part where it goes over the wheel. Even though they added an arch, I like how they did that. That looks real cool. That's a really good touch. Really good attention to detail. Ooh, and a diffuser. Ooh, that looks real cool. I love that. I like I, I don't have any I don't have any uh, preferences with the bra hand. Like I don't I've never owned one, I've never known anyone who owned one. So, don't take this as me being biased to it. I just think this looks really cool. Like, I originally was going into this video not expecting to like it. And now I'm just... First three body kits, and I think they look amazing. So, I got a good feeling about this car. What does that do? Ooh, that adds the tire. Ooh, what does that do? Makes the wheel arches chrome. This is the real lowrider body kit right here. Sleeker in the front. That looks real cool. If you're trying to build some kind of lowrider-esque looking thing, really fits. I may be from Southern California, but I don't know much about uh, lowriders. So I can't really give too much um, of an opinion on this. So I'm just going to go on to the next one. Ooh, that don't look too bad. Deletes all the chrome. Let's see. Let's see what the rear end does. Deletes the chrome and makes the tail light a little bit smaller. That's an interesting touch. All right, not too bad. It gives it more of a, well, I guess, tuner style because it just deletes all the chrome and it makes it a little more sleeker looking. So, it's pretty decent looking. I like how that looks. 
Um, definitely not one of my favorites, especially with that goatee looking spoiler up in the front. But it's a pretty good looking body kit, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Ain't one of my favorites, like I said, but it looks pretty cool. I like how that looks. What's that ad? A little bit of a ground effect. What does that do? Adds a little bit of a ground effect. Give me one second. With that front end, it kind of makes it look like the Mercedes 190E Evolution. And I totally didn't just Google that while I was already paused. But that's just kind of what it reminds me of, honestly. So I like how that looks. Let's take that off and see what it... Ooh, that's mean looking. I like that. Now the rear end. Take off this body kit, get the stock look, and that ain't too bad. I like how that looks. Slap on the spoon livery, not like spoon, not like spoon as in like Honda. I mean like do, 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 do. that one. Toss that one on. Make a real cool uh, Mad Max build. Slap on a uh, supercharger. Be pretty dang nice. Now the drag kit. Ooh, that. <clears throat> ooh, voice crack. That might be a little bit better than the first one. Actually, no. It makes the it makes the headlights look like droopy eyes. I don't know how I feel about that. Actually, that looks kind of goofy without the the wheelie bar. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't like how this. Yeah, I don't like this one too much. What's the next one? Oh, it is the bar kit. Alright, cool. Not as good as the other one. Actually, the rear end ain't too bad. The front end, not as good. I mean, it's close, but it's not as good. Not really much to say about that one. It's kind of similar to the one we did prior. That really sets it off, the black little lip to it. And that, I mean, that's just going to be hidden by the shadow, so. Not really much to say about that one either. Sorry if it just started to get really fast. That's usually what happens in these videos. I, like, talk a lot about, the, about these kits because they're better. And then once you get to around like this area, it just starts to go downhill because that's a bar kit. It's it's kind of iffy. Then you got that one, which is basically just a modified version of the other bot one. Then you got this one, which is even worse than this one. Then you got this, which adds basically nothing. You got this, which I've never liked, except for on like few select cars. Most notably the 64 Impala. And then you got the delete kit, and then you're basically done. So, yeah, usually the first half is the better part of the video, and then you go on, and, you know, it gets a little faster. <laughs> it looks goofy. It looks like it has a massive overbite. I don't know why I just did the overbite face. Obviously, you can't see me because I don't have face cam on. I don't like, how, I don't like this body kit. Ew. Yeah, no, I'm not feeling it. But you know what I am feeling? And it's kind of a foreshadow to my next video. I'll toss this on just because it's not too significant of a change. But the drag kit. Ooh, this is going to be a pain to make into a, a thumbnail. Yeah. But... <clears throat> Foreshadowing, I'm going to be making this car into a sleeper or a drag car. Actually, no, not even sleeper. It's just going to be a drag car. And I'll show you why you should really look into this car because it's really cool. So anyways, <clears throat> let me end this video. And let me get to bed. All right. So if you like the video, leave a like. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike. Tell me down in the comment section why you like to dislike the video. Talk to me down in the comment section. I love giving thumbs up, hearts, and positive and all good replies to positive, supportive, and all good comments. But I'll never react negatively to a negative comment because that's why I mean all about respecting positivity. 
If you want positive content, just funny retweets here and there. Go we'll check out my Twitter. It's near the bottom of the description. Above that in the description, however, are two Instagram accounts. Instagram number one is my main for myself and for the channel. So when you keep up to date with me or the channel, go follow that one. Instagram number two is my automotive-based one. You're already here. If you like cars? Go check it out. You'll find something they like, and hopefully, like a lot of it, hit that follow button. It really does help. Speaking of hitting buttons, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon to be notified when I post videos. I post every other day, but not at that time. So that's what you need the bell icon for. All right. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. And remember, stay healthy, stay hydrated, stay safe, and stay positive.